Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I want to show you the difference in the new update. Well, it's an update, but it's more of a, a bug fix. I really want to go through software with the ID3 and ID4, what things know and what they don't know. I'm here in the ID4 because my car still has the, the software 0570, it came with the 0564 and then it was a bug fix for a few errors that ID3 has. And the uh, ME2 software, ME stands, stands for Marktanführung, means the put into the market. Um, the ME2 software is still not the final software that's supposed to be in there. It's still a bug fix, but it already has a lot of features in there too. The 2.1 will then be the ID software, the real software, no ME anymore. And this should be then the, the software that everyone is waiting for in Q1, so in January of 2021, with over-the-air updates. The, the 2.0 doesn't have over-the-air updates, but it already has the App Connect. So, and is it, it is meant for the people who have massive problems uh, where the car can't drive or when you have 12 volt battery drain like I do. So this is fixed at least, but it, it was it was usually it shouldn't have been there. 2.1 should have been the one that you get, but you get that in January. Only fast lane models or uh, cars that wanted the full software didn't want to be a first mover get that. And. So I want you to understand this. 2.0 is for people with big problems. 2.1 is the one you want. So if you don't have any problems with your big problems, I'm not talking not about tiny errors. I mean like the car doesn't drive or you, you're very unsafe in there or 12 volt battery drain, then uh, get the 2.0. If you don't get that, wait for January and get 2.1. But let's look at 2.0. Again, I'm here in the ID4 because ID3 mine doesn't have that yet. It looks the same. Um, booting time is way faster, so that's very good. You now have App Connect that we will go through in a few seconds. But let's go through and show you. Car to X communication is already in here. Can turn it on and uh, I want to see the version and this is 0784 I think the 4 is for ID4 because I've seen ID3s with the 0783 and let's go through a bit navigation it, it looks the same it feels the same the speed is not amazing but it's better what you already have in here is that it plans your uh, charging stops for you so if I put in my hometown, Passau. It's calculating the route. And I will turn navigation sound off. Well, it should plan. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, I'm back. I found a mistake. It's under settings, root guidance, root options, there's add charging stopovers automatically. <laughs> I didn't do that. Well, I didn't think it would be in, but let's put in Passo and let's see what it does. Calculating root. Takes a bit longer, has to think. And there we have it. We have Ionity, another charging stop, and another Ionity. If I swiped or press this, shouldn't it? Yeah, there we have it. It says here at Ionity for 56 minutes, for 29 minutes, no, 56 minutes and 55 minutes, and one hour, 25 minutes. What is my charge limit? Because this is. It's at 100%. So let's go down to 70, your maximum that you want to use. And when you now go in here, it will calculate the route again for 670 kilometers. And now we have four charging stops in here, but only 22 minutes, 24, 44, because it's 50 kilowatt uh, charging station, and 24 again at this. And this is just now. Soon there will be uh, that you can select only Ionity and that you can 
select uh, what state of charge you want to arrive and how uh, and 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 all this stuff so it, it will get better but this is a, a good beginning i like it a lot what is new is the re uh, so what will not change is this kilometers per minute to the charging power to kilowatt and i i uh, i talked to Thomas Ulbricht yesterday, they will not change that. This will not be kilowatt for a while. <laughs> they just want to keep it simple for for people. I don't understand it. I would want that and I, I don't get it, but that's how it is. But what changed is now we have the reset button for your trip meter in the trip meter for long term and for since start, since charge doesn't do that. If you want uh, your distance covered, you still have to do it here. You still have the option to do it at the same way with cockpit and this, but it's nice that it's now in here and it works. Ah, oh, that's nice. Other than that, um, what else do we have? The sound was the same. The, the only thing left is uh, App Connect and we're gonna test that now. Now, let's, I, I connected my phone with uh, USB-C to USB-C and let's see, use Android Auto. Permission. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's coming and loading. There we have the, ooh, nice. And it's the whole screen, that's nice. Spotify, the same thing that I always use, it remember that. That is nice. It's a nice size. This is nice. It, and and it, it's using the whole thing, not just a bit. This is real good, good size. Yeah, Spotify never works if you don't open it in here. It should work now. Yes, it does. That's nice. I like that. It looks good. It's a good size. Really nice. And and I think every time when you press this, you're out. That's awesome. And back in. So it's not the, the end that you have to press on other cars sometimes to get out. It's always here. And this is always the same. You can always get to your climate, I guess. When you go back, back to Android Auto. That's awesome. Looks good. But that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.